Hey, it's Long with a Screencast Quick Tip. Today I got a tasty little treat for you. We're going to be cooking up some cool graphics that we can use as ingredients to make gourmet screencasts. Here's a quick look at the menu. Mmm, yummy! The tool to do tons of custom images like these is a site called Image Chef. You don't have to be a whiz in the kitchen to use this either. It's as easy as opening a can of SpaghettiOs. On the site, you can choose from a couple hundred templates in all different kinds of categories. And essentially, they're just images that you can customize by adding text. And there you go. Just like that, instant custom image. You can post them to blogs and social sites, download them to your hard drive, use them in PowerPoint slides as title clips or custom callouts in Camtasia, or anywhere you can think of in your products, newsletters, website, blog posts. Whoa! Any place you want to have a little fun and not be boring. Now a couple of things you might notice here. A lot of this stuff looks like it's geared for the MySpace generation. <laughs> and there's also this big, huge Image Chef watermark thing. And the images are pretty small. And oh yeah, they're licensed for personal use only. Well, apparently Image Chef has recognized that there are lots of grown-up folks, like you and me, that might want to use these for marketing. So they created a commercial account program. And for 10 bucks, you can make and save tons of these graphics to your library. No watermarks, larger images, tools, and new content. And here's the really sweet part. According to their terms of use, yes, you can use these for commercial purposes. Cool. And even better, once your Image Chef paid subscription is terminated, you may continue to use images that were generated on Image Chef's site during the subscription period. Awesome. With a pro account, you get additional options when you go to post a customized graphic. You can get up to a 500 by 500 image with no watermark. And you can save it to your graphics library and use it as much as you like. And for some of these, you can also upload and add your own images to the recipe. Again, adding your own text, you know, a certain message or something you want your viewers to remember. So the bottom line is, throw down 10 bucks and spend a month mixing up to 5,000 of these babies to use in all kinds of creative ways to make screencast videos or extra content for whatever you're working on. You can hardly buy 10 boring stock images with rights for that kind of coin. There are so many fun things you can do here, I don't have anywhere near the time to cover them all. You'll just have to check it out for yourself, but this is your heads up. And yes, you can import animated GIF files right into Camtasia. Okay, I know we're way over time on this quick tip, but I feel I'd be remiss if I didn't give you an example of how to use these. So, here's a quick idea. I'm going to pull a few of these into Camtasia. It's rolling up to Christmas time as of this recording, and here I've baked up four of a single image, each with different text, and saved them to my hard drive. I'll just import them as media and then drag each one out onto the timeline. 
I'm going to change the image duration to about two seconds for each of them. And then switch to the storyboard and add a transition. One of my favorites is the glow transition. And let's see, I think I'll add one more of these cool Image Chef images. This one using one of the abilities to import an image. And we'll just use a simple fade transition for this one for a couple of seconds. And let's see, I think that's about it. Let's run it. Happy Holidays! Pretty cool, eh? I think this will make a nice ending splash clip for a, a video. So there you have it, nutritious and delicious. Hey, have a great holiday season. And remember, friends don't let friends make crappy videos.